Mike Comtech coming to you here with another video. I'm going to put some uh, electrodes on Frankenstein. Electrodes are a part of Frankenstein. And put them green. I've seen them use green before in props. So I'm going to do them green and I'm going to flash them on and off. We're going to use a simple little uh, circuit here. This is the 555 that's that pulse generator that i was talking about you can get it on on amazon and then i uh put a uh to slow that rate down i put a uh, 47 a 0.47 microfarad capacitor soldered it on the bottom uh, in parallel with that other disc capacitor right here on top and put it right in parallel with that so that way it would slow it down because this thing normally uh, it runs way 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 too quick and way too fast to flash an led As a matter of fact you wouldn't even see the led flash so i put that to 0.47 soldered it on a microfarad capacitor right there you probably could see the 47 there soldered it right in parallel and that slowed it down and used the little potentiometer right here a little potentiometer to slow the or pick the rate you want so i mean i just picked this rate for now so we'll see we'll go with that so I'll, I'll be back once i get it all wired then we'll come back and i'll show you how we wired it all up and even what i made the electrodes out of so okay stay tuned and i shall return one minute later okay in the magic of time lapse we are finished Took about an hour, um, not very long, but of course I'm pretty picky about how I wire stuff, so it takes longer for you to, you know, lay out the components and where everything goes. But anyway, I uh, let's get a close up here of the of the little electrode on Frankenstein. I had some 3H tubing, and so a uh, five millimeter LED will fit into that, no problem. And then I had some little silicon uh, feet that you can get at Home Depot. And these are the rounded ones. And they were just exactly, and they're three eighths of course. So then they fit right on the outer diameter of that little, this rubber tubing. So I cut it, you know, probably about, I'd say that was probably a half inch or so and then put one there and then put one over here and of course since he his picture is at an angle you don't these aren't straight they they shouldn't be because he, his head is leaning to the right here a little bit and then i uh let's flip her over let's flip this over and we can see what what i did here let's get it this way get it turned around so everything's right orientation Okay, so one LED is right here. The, LED, L, the other LED is right here. And then uh, this is just a temporary hookup for power. Because where I have it hanging on the wall, I've got a, a female barrel that goes to a nice harness to uh, hook this, to power this up. So here's a timer that changes the LED eyes. Every 60 seconds, you get a new set of eyes. Here is the pulse generator that uses a 555. Let's see if I can get a better shot there. And then I soldered on that 0.47 microfarad capacitor at the bottom of that pulse generator. And then I orientated it so I can have access to it. I want to just change the, uh, the variable rate on those LEDs, the flash rate, I can. I can just adjust that screw right there to do that with. And then uh, just use some uh, uh, wiring, the three wires from here. This is the three wire output. So you got negative, positive, and then you got your pulse, your positive pulsed output. So then I ran that into a, uh, the, the uh, pulsed output, I run to a 100 ohm resistor and then the 100 ohm resistor drops it for both these LEDs and these are these LEDs are matched in voltage so that is a current limiting resistor 100 ohms because we're running everything at 5 volts here for these two LEDs 
and then I just tapped off the power that I had right here. This is five volts coming in right here. And then, uh, so the whole, the current for everything, for the eyes and the flashing LEDs now is about 170 milliamps at, uh, at five volts. So that's what I was saying. If these were running on battery, I could see why people were complaining about their battery packs running down pretty quick because uh, these are pulling a pretty good, I mean, for a battery pack, a smaller battery pack, like, you know, um, four C's or four D cells or, uh, you know, that, that would, it would run for a few hours and that would be about it. And then uh, here's the other shot of the pulse generator. There's the little 555 right there that does all the, does all the work and a couple of support components and then your uh, timing capacitor and then your, your rate adjustment uh, potentiometer, your multi-turn pot there. So that's it. That's about uh, what makes her tick. And then, uh, so then we look at it here, then that's what the effect is. But I wanted to come up with something here that, you know, to cover up the LED. And of course I can see in here, um, that doesn't bother me. I just wanted some kind of cover to make it look like there's a couple electrodes sticking out uh, of Frankenstein. So anyway, kind of a cool effect. One minute later. Okay, here is Frankenstein on the wall. This is uh, in my mock-up workbench where I do all the mock-ups and testing of all the little boards and all the circuits and all the Zoltar work that we did. All of that is done right here on this bench. And so if it gets proven here, then it moves on to the project. There's the three foot dancing skeleton back there. He's all completed with all his input circuitry, all completed, finished. And then put Frankie on the wall here. So that's his new home for now anyway. So anyway, I just thought I wanted to show you that real quick. So thank you, and I will see you all later.